Welcome to a live video that I have not done in a really long time. Before I start talking about what happened to me, um, <laughs> oh, I guess my animals want to say hi. You can't have that right now. I don't know. Do goats like apples? I don't know if goats like apples. Let me see the comments here. Um, sorry if it's a little windy. Hey, Elizabeth. Salmon. I don't know if that's how I said your name, if I said it right there. So uh, I'm going to wait for maybe like a few of you to... All right, my dog is sniffing my ass right now. Get out of here. I mean, I love you, but yeah, don't be back there. All right. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, Carol? Hey, Rainbow. What's up, Stack Pack? So I want to talk about some, um, I guess maybe I haven't talked about enough on this channel. So uh, not too long ago, I got a message saying that Tiffany put me in jail and that she is this and this, I mean, I'm not going to say the derogatory terms that they used for Tiffany, but it was bad and that they had put me in jail and that they're so mad at me because I stood them up at this airport and to make things worse at the end of this message, this particular person said that they were going to come out, find me, not only make my life a living hell, but they were going to kill me. And I, I don't take those words lightly when somebody threatens my life. And, you know, it happens anytime you're in the spotlight. Of course, I mean, there's there's a lot of people that like you. There's a lot of people that hate you. And then, of course, there's people that like you so much that they hate you and they want to kill you. And I don't know. There's just a lot of weird people out there. But anyways, I'm going to explain to you this story. And then I'm going to come to the conclusion on how it could maybe affect you and what you need to do so it doesn't affect you. So yes, this does concern you watching right now because chances are some of you have probably gone through this. So let's rewind a little bit. I was getting this message saying, of course, that I was put in jail, yada, yada, yada. So I came to the conclusion that somebody was pretending to be me. They sweet talked this woman and this woman was from another country too, somewhere in Europe. And I'm not going to say her name out of respect to her, even though she said she wants to do harm to me and my family. But the reason why I want to share this with you is because I don't want things getting so out of hand that somebody wants to do harm to me and not just me, but other creators out here in the community. So. Anyways, this person meets up with this fake Omar Gosh TV pretending to be me. And they said that they were going to meet her at Miami International Airport. Now, first of all, yes, I live in Florida. If you didn't know, Florida is a very large state. Miami is like seven hours from where I live. I live in like north central Florida. It's it's far. OK. It doesn't, you know, so th there's a lot of airports in Florida. There's, you know, you got Tampa, you have Sarasota Airport, you have Jacksonville. There's a lot of airports, Orlando, West Palm Beach. Like, why Miami? OK, why would I have you meet? So, you know, red flag there. OK, if somebody wants to meet you in Miami International Airport claiming to be me, like it's not me. OK, anyway, so this this person flies out to meet me thinking they're going to meet me. And they're really upset when I don't show up. And then they start calling them. And I guess whatever they're using to communicate with this fake Omar Gosh TV. And he says that, or whoever it is, said that Tiffany put him or me in jail. And that I need bail money or whatever the case. And she had to spend... I think $3,000 to try to get an airplane ticket back home, you know? So, I mean, she probably already felt kind of dumb, but at the same time, she was like, damn, like I'm all alone in this airport in a country that, you know, I'm not even from, I was supposed to meet somebody and I don't know. She was upset. And I look at this message on my Instagram and like, first of all, I'm like, you know, right away, I'm like, dude, I, this was not me. You know, first of all, like, I didn't message you on Instagram. Like, 
you know, I mess I, I didn't message you at all. It was not me. <laughs> so uh long story short, if there is somebody messaging you and they are not connected to the social medias that I share here, I do have a brand new Facebook that I'm working on. Okay. Like, but I'm not going to be mess. I'm, I promise you, I will not be messaging you. Okay. I don't have time to message 10,000 people a day. It just doesn't happen. It's not just me too. Like other creators, like I have a busy life. I have a farm. I travel for work. I make content. Like I don't have time to be on my phone all day talking to several people. Like I have a few people that I talk to here and there. And I talk to some of my moderators, Kathy, thank you so much for the super chat there. But I do not have time to carry out multiple conversations with people. So, I mean, that's a red flag in itself right there. But the biggest red flag, if you go to an Instagram of somebody that copied my photo and they have like two followers, it's not me. Okay. I don't have multiple accounts. I have stressed this so many times, but I guess it just doesn't reach certain people, maybe even in other countries. And I'm sorry that this happened to this individual. Now they want to kill me and they want me to pay them back. And this had nothing to do with me. So what can I do to make this better? Educate you a little bit more that there are people out there that can simply just copy your photo, put a name and make it seem like they're somebody else, but they're not. Okay. Use common sense, please. Or right, I know that there's some of you are probably going to be upset for me to say this, but don't be dumb. Okay. Like I'm not going to talk to everybody. Post Malone ain't going to talk to everybody. Um, I'm not comparing myself to Post Malone. Post Malone, great artist, but I'm saying like, you know, social media influencers in general, like it's so easy to copy their photo. And this is like the biggest scam going on on the internet right now. And we have no control over it. I can't, like, I get messages almost every day, like, oh, somebody's pretending to be you, Omar. Like, you should report it. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. It's so easy for somebody to do that. All I can do, though, to protect you is educate you and helping you to figure this out on your own, that if somebody is pretending to be me or my friend CJ or my friend Yasko or Mo, like, look at their followers, look at, the, and, and try to compare their social medias that they share on their videos and my descriptions at the very top. I have, this is, it's at the very top. I say, this is my only social media accounts. If there's another one, it's not me. So please guys don't get scammed. I, and, and this is another thing too. Okay. I will never ask you for money. Okay. I've been broke for a majority of my life. Okay. But it has taught me to grind work hard and not have debt, not have bad vices in my life. Okay. That is something that the good Lord up above has blessed me with. And I've been able to earn a nice living in real estate and hairdressing. And of course, like here on YouTube, on my farm, like I have done okay where I don't need money. Am I rich? No, I'm a pretty humble person. I am not rich. Do I, I don't have a lot of debt. Yes, but I will never ask anyone for money. Okay. So that is another big red flag right there. There's a lot of people out there that will pretend to be a social media influencer. And they're like, Oh, well, you know, Hey, I need this money for shipping. Like that is all a scam. Okay. Please don't fall for that scam. Don't spend your hard earned money towards somebody that is going to scam you. Okay. Like I'm, I, I'm never going to ask you for money. So please. If there's anything you could take away from this, uh, aside from like the social media influencer scams that are going on on YouTube and Twitch and Instagram and TikTok, don't fall for it, okay? Please. Okay, I'm gonna read some of these comments now. Um, video's not over. I just wanted to start it off with that because it was very important. This is the most, like, I mean, I, I've had this happen in the past already, but nothing to the extent where somebody wanted to do harm to me because they thought that I stood them up and I cost them all these thousands of dollars. And like, you know, I'm sorry that happened, but I've, I've mentioned, I've like mentioned this in like so many videos and so many like social posts. And, you know, let me know here in the comments, if you remember me saying this in another live stream. So, uh, Hey Laura, how you doing? What's up? 
What's up, Roland? What's up, LaFonda? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not here in the comments, like, saying what's up. But, yeah, I have mentioned it a lot. And, yeah, let me know if you remember me. or Let me know if I've never mentioned it to you particularly. And maybe I'll do, hey, what are you doing, Thelma? There's Thelma right there. She's hanging out with me. Hi, baby girl. Well, you want an apple? Can goats have apples? I don't know if goats can have apples. I usually feed them to my cow. Yeah, I'll give you some. Hang on. Hang on, baby. So anyways, I'm here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I know it's been a little while since I've talked to y'all. I was a little sick for the last week. And um, of course, I've been planning out some stuff, been editing videos. And I'm going on a big trip in a couple days. So we'll have to make sure the animals are taken care of. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I think I think she likes apples. There goes my dogs. What's up, guys? They're so dirty. Here. You want some? Louise. Here. I'll cut it up a little smaller for you. Oh, what is up? What's up, Jeffrey? All right, sun's in my eye right now. Sorry, can you guys hear me okay? I'm wearing a wireless, like, microphone here. Uh, thank you so much for the super chats, by the way. Very much appreciated. Let me see, uh, Debbie. Mom, yeah, I'm so dumb. I could do this right here. Hey, stop! Why are you licking my knife? Hey, knock it off! You really just dumped all my apples. These guys are like little kids. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this up here. All right, sorry about that. Debbie, Mama says much love to you, Tiff, and the Safe Haven Ranch. Please put this towards the animals. I absolutely will. Thank you so, so much. Here, guys. Here's some apples. Here. I'll just put it right there. You could eat it or you could not eat it. But thank you so much for that. Um, also, thank you to Debbie Collins. And big shout out to Double D Paranormal Adventures. Uh, let me see here. My iPhone's kind of acting weird. Oh, I can't read that one. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay. Rocio. Hola, como estas? Estoy muy bien. Gracias. Weather looks beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice here in Florida, by the way. I shaved my beard. But it's just so, like, it's so facey. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm very facey. But, you know, it's cool. People say I look a little younger. I did have, like, a clean shave, but... I don't know. I think I might grow my beard back out again. Hey, Regina, what's up, Merida? Past Life Explorer, what's good? But yeah, let me know if any of you have talking to, uh, it doesn't have to be me. Maybe, maybe it was somebody pretending to be one of my friends or maybe another social media influencer. And you thought for a short while that you were actually talking to this person. And this is not the first time that anything like that's happened. I had somebody that was they were, um, they had this like six month relationship with a fake Omar gosh. Okay. And then this, this particular person like messaged Tiffany and they were like, you know, I got your man, you know what I mean? And like, you know, he doesn't love you. He loves me and yada, yada, yada. And like, she's like, like, what are you talking about? And then she sent some screenshot like text messages and like, <laughs> it was like, it didn't even sound like me. It was like, I want to wake up. I want to wake up kid forehead. Like, I don't even talk like that. I want to wake up, kiss forehead. I mean, you know, I like, I like kissing, you know, I like kissing her forehead and all, but uh, to the ducks and chickens, Wayne, thank you so much, man. And Debbie, hey, love you. You didn't have to do that. Oh, they look at sexy. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, what are you doing up there? Look at, look at this little, look at this little, I don't even know what to call you. Uh, is that Thelma? Okay. It is Thelma. Here, I'll cut up another one for you. Like, here you go. Why are you gonna mess with those? Here, I got more apples for you. Here, baby. There you go. I didn't even know you like apples. Here you go, Louise. There. Goats like to climb on stuff. Like that's their thing. One of these days, I'm gonna build them like a really big little like playhouse. It's gonna be cool. Nom nom nom. Yeah, Thelma is the goat. Look, she came up here just to cause trouble. I gave her some apples and she didn't even want it. But um, you guys want to say hi to the animals? Let me know. I just got here. 
it's really messy. Um, you know, um, I gave my dogs some toys yesterday, brand new toys, and they made a big mess. Let me see if I could turn my camera on, but they made a big mess. I thought it was like some of that leftover llama hair. See right, like right over there. Okay. Yes. Animals, please. All right. Sweet. A uh, little V. Somebody asked about little V. Little V is all the way over there on the little porch hanging out. So, all right, let's do just that. This is where I was hanging out. This is my little Daki boy right there. How you doing, buddy? You being good today? You being good? Hey, Mike, thank you so much for that super chat. And Samantha for the animals. Thank you, thank you. No favorites, love them all. Hey, I got to know, though, who's your absolute favorite here at the Safe Haven Ranch? I'm curious. Um, I do have, actually, I don't have a favorite. I can't play favorites. If I had to choose one, though, I don't know. Let me know here in the comments. Let's say you're, you have two seconds. I know this may sound kind of, kind of mean, but you got two seconds to save one of the animals. Which one are you saving? No, I don't want to say that. No, 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 that's not good. How about, okay, you have 10 seconds to give one a kiss. Which one are you going to give a kiss to? Is it Gracie? Is it Thelma or Louise? Is it Daki Boy? Is it? One of my chickens, Miss Piggy. A lot of people say, oh, Macy, that's mine. Yeah, I'd give her a kiss before anybody's. You want to get him a kiss? Oh, want to give him a kiss? Oh, no, I give me a kiss. She want to give me a kiss. She's so cute. So I've been halter training her. <laughs> You're so cute. Hold on, let's give her some love. All right, you know what? I'm going to grab something. Hey, what are you doing? You're not supposed to go pee there. I'm just kidding. You go pee anywhere you want. So I got this bucket. Got some apples in it. Um, hey, I got a horse, by the way. Who wants to see my horse? I'm going to say hi to Macy after. But let me know if you want to see my horse. And my ducks, they're not even like baby ducks anymore. Look at these guys. They've gotten so big. Look at that. Like my goslings, huge. Okay, yeah, I got a horse. I got some apples for him too. Wait a minute, huh? I'm gonna grab my uh, my tripod. Probably a good thing to do. Yep. Let me know if y'all know my horse's name, because I have mentioned him a few times here in the comments. It's got a cool name. Really cool name. All right, there we go. <laughs> Victoria got it. His name's Hamlet. That's my horse. He's my, uh, yeah, he's my horse. My unofficial horse. But he's my horse. Well, you know, he's our horse. All right. What's up, guys? Why are you following me? Huh? Oh, Macy wants to follow us, too. So the other day, so I've been really busy out here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I installed an electric fence. So I got fed up with my dogs escaping. You know, we have people that drive really crazy out here in the country. Here he goes right there. Hi, Hamlet. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Let me see if I could make this go a little higher. Oh, oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. You want an apple? You want an apple? Okay. Don't get by that line. You're going to get shot, Gracie. Yummy, yummy. Here you go. <laughs> he almost took my hand off. Okay, some of this apple looks kind of brown. So I'm going to cut that part out, put it over there. Nobody here. Right here. All right, you know what? I don't like this apple. I'll get you a better apple. Okay, yeah, this one's good right here, Hamlet. All right. There you go. There you go. All right, don't bite my fingers. All right, here, I'll just put it on the ground. He's like, oh, 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 oh. 
You gotta take the seeds out. I mean, they say that apple seeds have arsenic. I don't know how true that is, but. Yep, there's my horse, Mr. Hamlet. What's good, homie? All right, here. I'm gonna have y'all feed Hamlet. Why are y'all eating apples? I guess dogs like apples too. All right, here we go. Is that yummy? Sorry about the wind noise. It gets really windy out here at the Wind Haven Ranch. Here. I don't want to get electrocuted though. Ah! Psych. All right, there you go. I love the way it sounds when, like, horses chew. It's like, actually, Mona, too. It's like a loud, chunky, like, but yeah, look, I just dug out all the seeds so it's, like, safer. So he doesn't have any arsenic. There you go, homie. Yum. Oh, man, sorry I missed some of y'all's chats here and the super chats. Gotti Dad Rivera, thank you so much for the super chat. Don't hear any wind. Okay, sweet. Probably because I got this little uh, funky, it's called a dead cat or whatever. So all right, I'm going to feed Mona a couple of these. She's kind of yelling at me back there. Hey, babe. So who follows me on Instagram? Because I put a really cool like before and after video or it's like a reel of me doing Tiffany's hair. I'm gonna show you firsthand though, what her hair looks like, but it was pretty cool. It was like a little process. <sighs> hey, you know what I forgot? I forgot the chicken food. Yeah, my chickens are out of food and I gotta put some food there for them, especially before we go out of town. And so what do you think of that lady? That said she wanted to kill me. Honestly, I hate to say this, but I don't even feel bad anymore. Oh, here. I want to mic you up. Yeah. Bam. Yeah, get from under my dress. Yeah, they were sniffing my butt, too. I don't know why. She wants to get the goods. I don't even feel bad anymore, to be honest. Because we told her and we told her and we told her in the messages. It wasn't her. I kept telling her. I was like... You're talking to a scammer. It's not real. You're talking to a fake Omar. I'm sorry that that happened to you. And she's like, the truth hurts, darling. It wasn't my words. It's his words. And I'm just <laughs> like, I never put him in jail. We don't even live near Miami. I was like, he's literally sitting next to me right now. Like we are happily together still. He's your ex. And I'm like, he's not my ex. <laughs> we are still together. He's literally right next to me. Wasn't this lady like married too or something? Yeah, she's married. And I even told her, I was like, why would your husband allow you to fly to a whole other country by yourself to meet somebody that you haven't even talked to? Like in person, face to face or like why? And she's like, I'm not a slave. My husband lets me do what I want. And I'm like, it's not about being a slave. It's about being safe. You could literally end up missing. Yeah. Like that another was a country. dumb move. And then she's like, well, I have family in Miami. Okay. Well, then where was your family? Like, why were you so panicked about being alone if you have family here? And then she's like, you know, I get what Omar was saying about calling you a bitch. You definitely are a bitch. Me and my <laughs> friend think you look like one of the farm animals. You're a, a hog. And I was like, honey, you haven't even seen a bitch yet. Fuck you and your friend. Excuse my language. And I was like, <laughs> now I don't even feel bad that it happened to you. If you're not going to listen to me, no matter what I'm trying to tell you, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I don't know how some people could be like so naive too. Like they... I don't know. And I mean, it's somebody that I follow on Instagram and they're able to private message me. Like, why not yeah. private message me and confirm like, hey, I just got a message from somebody on WhatsApp mm -hmm. that I think it may be you, but I just want to confirm. And they didn't do that. Nope. Like, I mean, right. they had the the he does not have a private account. He's not going to privately message you. He doesn't call y'all fans. He's never called y'all fans. So when you get a message, it's like, hey, fan, yeah, nice to me. see you. It's not. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's just not, and he never asked for money. And this lady's like, he asked for all these play cards and I sent them and I want my money back. Whoa. Hello. Oh my God. I want to show your hair off. Oh, it looks really cool in the sun. Ooh. Look at, seriously. Wait, what's he doing? He's calling under one of the thingies. What? He's going to get stuck. I need to put the electric ah! fence over there. What the See, that one's not deep enough, Tom. 
Oh my god! Thelma, don't! Thelma! No! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so this is what the animals were doing. Well, not animals, but the dogs. They were digging holes like this, but going out there. And it was scary for me because I didn't want them getting hurt, you know, like disappearing and getting, I don't know, possibly eaten by a coyote or whatever. I, I don't know. Like, they I, take a coyote down. yeah, they would take a coyote down. But I mean, just still, like, I want to be able to keep them safe. So let me know here in the comments if you want me to show you what I had to end up doing as my last resort. I mean, I've gotten static collars. I've tried like putting poop in their holes. I mean, look, like I put concrete in the holes. Like just, you can't stop these guys from digging and wanting to wander off. We put cow poop, their poop, chicken shavings poop. We've literally put everything in these holes. And everything. Like, right. Challenge accepted. Right. Hey, thank you for um, the super chat again. Uh, it was, uh, let me see here. I don't know why it says v, uh, deleted. Somebody deleted it. It was a super chat and somebody deleted it. But it said for the animals. I can't read the name, but thank you so, so much for that. Put cones on them. That's a. Well, actually, we had um that one cone thingy. Remember, it was like a whatever. It's like a cone that goes around their neck or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That was just, it's nothing. They don't care. They'll chew it up off of each other. We've had, we've even tied them up so that we could like go get stuff to avoid them from coming in. And they'd stay tied up for like an hour and we come back and they're like all tangled up. Like, yeah. hey, here's the thing. I am 1000% against tying up your dogs. Okay. Like I, what is, what is he doing? He's trying to take my bucket of apples. It's Gracie. You know how she is. She'd like, to look, look, look at that. <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, get out my apples, homie. No, you can't eat that. <laughs> but yeah, we want to keep our animals safe. Like by all means necessary. And I figured out a way to do that the humane way. And it worked. It works. Now <laughs> they, they have not escaped they anymore. They just look at it. They're like. Yeah, they respect the fence a lot more. Like the middle fence, though, like I don't have that. Like they can go from paddock to paddock. I really don't care. But like going outside of the paddock and maybe running into like a busy road or something like that. Like I, I don't want that to happen. Going into other people's yards and then like getting shot or something. You know, oh yeah hey game. so we we do have some farmers in the area that if they see another dog in their yard they will kill it because you, you don't know like because people could eat their chickens i don't think our animals would like our dogs they wouldn't attack someone else's animals though no, but they don't know come on baby what you want you got something to say <laughs> what you got something to say <laughs> <laughs> are you lonely <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> You want to say hi? Ow! Oh. Well, Alicia's here? Yeah. Hey, what's up, Alicia? Thank you so much for being here. We love you. Maria Sanchez, thank you so, so much. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I For some reason, like, my... Something happened and, like, the app closed, so I had to open it back up. So, rolling with me. What's good, bro? Miss you, man. Hey, Wendy, thank you so much. Uh, so an invisible fence on, I mean, I, like I have, I'm going to show you how much area I have for these animals. Can you, can you hold that? Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to pull that. Okay. I'm going to, I'll just hold this like that. Oh, and then, so close. Why are you, am I close? Okay. Like I'm, zoomed in. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. Not anymore though, right? Yeah. You're good. All right. So the reason why we didn't resort to an invisible fence is be because of this. I mean, just look around. This is, this is huge. This whole area, we have four paddocks and this is about an acre and a half, almost two acres, just for the animals. We have almost 10 acres of land here on our property at the Safe Haven Ranch. But for the animals, we wanted them to have their own respected area. And what I usually do is I let them kind of run. Right now they're in three paddocks, but I usually don't do that. I usually have one where they're at. And I think, why did we leave that one open today? To let the animals go really into that paddock. Okay, well... I usually let the grass kind of green up a little bit, like just the goats are on this side, but they go back and forth because they we have other holes, thanks to these guys. But anyways, once I get the holes patched up, eventually we're not going to have that. 
problem anymore. I should grab those apples. Well, and plus the invisible fence, we were told by other people who have great Pyrenees. And it's a lot. Oh, they'll run through it. Yeah, they run through it. They don't yeah. even care. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Let me uh, clip this. Oh, uh, man, it feels good to be live, man. I haven't been live in so long. Like, it's so awesome. Miss you guys. I'm kind of jelly that you just wear regular shoes out here, meanwhile. No, nah, dude, these are my Vessies. Remember, I was wearing boots. Yo, I love these. So I wore these in my last video. Awesome shoes. I mean, it was like a, a sponsorship deal. But, like, I'm actually really liking these shoes. Like, I usually wear these Carhartt boots. Hey, get out the apples. And I ditched them. These are, like, they're waterproof, too. And, I mean, I step in all sorts of crap. And I usually just hose them down, and they're good. They're a little expensive, but worth every penny. Stop. Somebody said pepper. Oh, they can't hear you. Hold on, hold on. They gotta talk. All right. Somebody said something about pepper, uh -huh. and I'm assuming it's for the dogs. So we've tried pepper, we've tried crushed red pepper, we've tried lemons, we've tried limes. <laughs> everything that people have suggested, we've literally done everything. And I'm telling you, these kids, I mean, these kids, yeah, they're kids. They are Look savage. They guys. literally don't care. Hi, Mona. Oh, Mona's Lord. the only one that likes apples. Um, um, Lily likes some. Lily likes it? Yeah, but Mona really likes the apples. Yeah, likes oh! <laughs> you want an apple? Here. Okay. Oh, but you dropped it. Here, Mona. Ah! She almost took my finger off. Is that good, Mona? Here you go. Oh, you need to make it smaller than that. Smaller? Yeah. Why she like some smaller? Well, because horses have this like thing where it can like break down the apple as it's going down their throat, and cows lack that. Oh, okay. And they tend to swallow things whole too. Hey, be nice. Leave Piggy alone. What's wrong with Piggy's ears? Her ears like. I think one of the dogs may have like. Oh, are you talking about the one on the side? Yeah, it was, she was scratching and it got stuck on the fence and I had to hold her down the other day and like clean it and I called the farm vet and they said that it's fine. Okay. That as long as we keep it clean and stuff, it's it's gonna heal it on its own. Hi. You wanna give me a kiss? You wanna give me a kiss? <laughs> I've never let that happen before. Okay, hang on. All right, I got you. I don't think Lamar like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> watch the watch the knife. Hey. All right, chill. I got you, fam. Mona. Got <laughs> <laughs> Hell, long ass tongue. All right. All right, hang on. I got you. Okay, there you go. Right here. Oh. There you go. All right, here, Lily. Lily, I got you. Here. Here, Lily. You want that too? Okay, there you go. There you go, baby. Uh, she's such a cutie. I love this cow. <laughs> oh, can't forget about Miss Piggy. Oh, wait. Oh, Did she is eat that? No, Gracie's eating it. No, Gracie. Got it. Hey, at least she ate it like a little like a little child. See, she just she nibbled did. on I it a bit. I just want her to get to the seeds. Yeah. So, take, take the seeds out. I wonder if we planted apple seeds here in florida that would grow because apples usually grow in here you're welcome oh and yes for um people wondering we are planning on revamping his merch sometime soon yes and we will merch. have safe haven merch too yes. so it's gonna have some Hi, designs baby. with like Hi. the llama which Hi, i think girl. Cool. Oh. oh miss piggy likes it yes you oh. mama's baby Where are you mama's baby yes you are you got right there, buddy. i love you my piggy Leave Miss Piggy alone, Gracie. I thought that was Dax for a second. Look they kind of look alike. Look at that sweet baby face. Oh my goodness. You guys want some more? I feel bad. Rena like never gets to have any treats because she's so little. Oh, oh my slobbered all over Oh, watch the knife, babe. Watch the knife. I got it. Dude, look at that. That's how dirty cows' <laughs> tongues are. Okay. She like 
secretly wants to kill me too. Oh, Mona headbutted me in my stomach so hard one day and like pinned me up against the little thing and like headbutted me against it. I was like, let's go, girl. Cow for cow. Let's do this. Cow for cow. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Okay, Tiffany's back there. She, oh, shit. Excuse my French. Why do people say that? Like, we have any, like, French people here? Uh-oh. Uh, okay, this, this may not end well. Right. This is like a treat. I don't feed this to them every day. Usually when I get out of here, I got to run. Okay. Okay, I got nothing but cow poopy in here. What? Oh, shit. Watch out. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right, can I put it in your bucket? Okay. What'd you think I said? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna put it over here for you, Mona. Ah! Okay. Oh my God. Ah! There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, no, stay down there. Woo! They've been tearing it up. That's kind of nice. Dude, I get scared with this girl. Like, she's so big. All 750 pounds of her. Hey, Lamar. How you doing, buddy? I'm out of breath. What's that? Okay, here, Rena. Oh, here, Rena. There you go. I can never pet her unless I'm feeding her. Nice, Rena. She's so cute. Hi. Did you just real realize that I was petting you? <laughs> what? I'm out of breath, man. Why do the dogs eat the stuff? Wow. There's a big patty cake right next to the dog. Yeah. Mona, you need to stop like... We need to get Mona a litter box. Think that would work? <laughs> She'd fill the whole litter box with one dump. All right. Unfortunately... I got to feed these guys kind of separate. If not, they won't let my little Macy eat. Okay, Macy, over here. Come on. Come on, Dixie. Come on, Lamar. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, she's not as friendly. We didn't have her as a baby. Can't grab her by the head like and like move her. Plus, I'm halter training. I should show like the halter training. Okay, here we go. Who's this for? Okay, that's for Lamar. All right, goats. Here you go. That's for you guys. And then... Okay, baby. Hang on. Here, this is for Dixie and Macy. There you go, Dixie. scary feeding these guys sometimes they're kind of intimidating mainly the cow <sighs> look at miss piggy she's a bully what up buddy what up all right want to see the ducks let's go see the ducks and the chickens because they've like i don't know what it is maybe something that is in the feed but like, 
I swear they're all adults now. And they were like, they were like little babies that we could hold in their in your hand. I feel like the ducks got bigger than the chickens. So she ate all the food. And now she's just moving on to the other animals' food. That's why I'm sure it was a good thing that we blocked off this gate. I know. She's always getting ringed. You know what, though? Hmm. Dak will buck on Rena. Yeah. He'll buck on anybody who's messing with his food. Yeah, he's a big dog. Mm -hmm. Dak's gotten very big. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Come on, Dakie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Greg's over there? Yeah. Come on, Dak. Hey, so I'm going to try something that I have not tried yet. Okay. I'm No, bring Dak over here. Come on. I'm going to put Dak inside of the chicken coop to see if he attacks one of the chickens. I don't think it's going to happen because I've had him around the perimeter of the chickens. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dacky boy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. 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 Great Pyrenees are a little stubborn when you're calling them. Unless you got a treat or a toy. All right, come here. I'm going to put you in the chicken coop. Hopefully he doesn't eat the chickens. This could be a very bad idea. Very dangerous one. But it may have its reward. Or should we put him with the, with the ducks? No. It's gonna stress the ducks out. Okay. The ducks are so stressful. Come on, Dak. Dak, come here. Come here, Dak. Hi, guys. Um, no, here, come in here. You got your boots on. That's too crowded in there, Paul. Come on, you got this. And you're short. You can fit right in here. Come on, Dak. Come here, buddy. Come on. All right, I might have to grab him. I think he's feeling the pressure. Maybe he's a little shy. Come here. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. All right. Uh oh. This is probably not a good idea. Oh, he's eating the chicken food. Good times. Take him away from the chicken. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Don't. Okay. Yeah, because if the chickens come, he might eat the chicken that way. Come here, Ducky. Duck. Come here, Duck. <laughs> There's my chickens. They're pretty much all grown now. All right, hey, come here. Come on. Come on, Dad. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, so hey, good news. He didn't attack the chickens, which is good. So there's all the chickens. That's my rooster. Well, one of them. I think both of the roosters are right over there. They're called Black Giants. That's the name of their breed. And these guys are really cute. I made these little self-feeders i sometimes don't use them because uh you can see i put some food in there yeah, that's a good boy it's a really good boy we need the pool cleaned again i just clean that all right look at these guys oh you want to go in there uh-oh but he's not even trying to hurt them meet your protector guys He's got your back. I mean, we do got geese, so. They don't have names yet, though. Okay, yeah, that's that's Pop over there, and that's Mom. Or Ma? Or, or Mom? Mom and Pop? Okay. Look how he has, like, a furry head. See his furry head? It's really cool looking. That's awesome. Oh, soup. Sorry. Oh, she's coming? Yeah, this is how they do. See, they dig little holes. Look at that. It's like her tunnel, but they can't do that on the per outer perimeter, which is good. And I'm going to I'm going to show you here in a second what I did. I feel like Gracie would attack the ducks, though. He's a good boy. He's a really good boy. All right. Your jacuzzi is really dirty, guys. 
I like literally just put water in there. Come on, deck. Well, I put that brick to, like, I put water under it. Uh huh. That's pretty cool. Marita, what's up, Marie? Mary. <laughs> What the heck? I don't know what's going on here. Like, see how it hides certain comments? Oh, yeah. There's something like, um, something that they said or something that they're like, I don't know why it does that. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are really shy, though. So, remember I was telling you the white ducks that I got? I mean, they were yellow when I first got them as babies. I didn't know if they were male or female. I know for a fact now that that one is a female just based off of her quack because female quacks are loud like that. Um, I think the other one may be a male because but maybe he's still or she is still developing. But chances are that's my female and the other one's a male because of their quacks. Um, males have more of a raspy quack and females got a louder quack. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, can I have a kiss? Oh, Dak is okay. What are you doing, Dak? You scaring the ducks? I'm gonna go in the this. Okay, you gonna clean out their jacuzzi. There's a lot of flies in here. How come there's flies in here and not in the chicken coop? Maybe because of the water? Yeah. Can you see the hose? Okay. Oh, that stinks. It's because of all their feet. Oh. Well, you know what's cool about those flies? They're gonna they're gonna make little worms. And the ducks are gonna eat them. Dude, ducks are messy. I mean, here, you see my chicken coop with like 26 chickens, right? Compare the two, okay? This is only what seven. How many ducks we got? Uh, seven ducks and two geese. Wait, no. Are you sure? I think one, two, three, four. So we got five ducks five. and two geese. Yeah, I think. Oh no! What? Oh, you got poop on them? Oh, it's theirs. We got to fill out that bucket too. I mean, it's really not that stinky in here. No. I mean, we clean up. We spray all this down every day anyway. But that... They messy. Bad. Yep. Hey, wait. Getting uh, them on my fresh vessies. Hey, they're waterproof. They are. Yes, they are. <sighs> they yeah. They also put their, chick their duck feed and falls all over the place. They let them dry all day. The flies? Yeah. Maybe. But I don't know. I got that same food. What the heck is that? What? Look at that. Oh, that's a good. It's a cricket. Hold on. Do they bite? Do crickets bite? All right, little friend. Whoa! No, wait, don't go torture it. On its I'm not. I wasn't going to torture. I was going to feed him to the chickens. Let the, let that's the not. Do its that's job. not torturing them. Let the duck do its job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Ashley, for the super sticker. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Tim Cruz. I'm so in love with, uh, I just missed that comment. I'm sorry. I think it's something about the animals. What's up, Amanda? Hey, Charlene. How you doing? And thank you so much, Sweetie9220, for the super chat. When I start spraying the food, it's going to be loud. So I'm going to step out a little bit. says, hey, Omar. How do you keep this the chat from moving? Sometimes, like... Okay, yeah, been here since dumpster diving. Okay, that's what's up. All right, I'm gonna move over here. There we go. Bam. How's that? So, um, like I mentioned earlier in the live stream, we're gonna be traveling in, I think, two two days. We're going out west, doing a west coast trip. Again, it's going to be fun, and it's going to be just me and Tiff, 
after that and about a couple of weeks after that james and i are going on a trip up north which that's the time to do trips up north when it starts getting warm you know what's up mary what's up mag magdalena how you doing and what is good what the paranormal hey kayla how you doing feed the animals from a flat palm what avoid the teeth oh yeah I, I usually do that i'll go like that especially when i'm feeding the horse you know i do that um need slow i don't know how to do slow mode let me see if i could set that up um yeah for some reason it doesn't allow me to do anything like that but i could do this oh <gasps> where'd the color go that's pretty cool Got bubbles at the safe haven ranch? Blowing bubbles here. All right. Yeah, this is kind of cool, but I'm going to I'm gonna go back normal there. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can't do slow mode. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Sorry. Uh, put your finger. What? Put your. Somebody said put your fingers on the chat and slightly pull down. Okay, I did that, but it does not work. It just live chat, top chat. Okay, yeah, I can't enable slow mode. Um, but yeah, comments are going kind of fast. So I apologize, and but I will try to. I mean, if you do message me on here and. I don't see it. Maybe just try to do it again. And maybe I'll see it the next time. Let me turn this this way. Where'd my tripod go? Let me grab my tripod. I'm gonna go sit back over there. Duck's making too much noise. Come on. Mona's looking for trouble. I tell you what. All right. I love coming out here. Like, Safe Haven Ranch is awesome. This is so peaceful. Ah, okay. There we go. Bam. A little crooked. Not anymore. There we go. All right. Now I can read the, the chat a little bit better. What's up, Mary? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Tracy. Go, Leafs, go. Hey, this is John. Me and Mary love your videos. Hey, John. Mandy, you need uh, some. Okay, I saw a comment that said, Omar, you look young. I am young. I'm 41 years old. That's young. I mean, I mean, it's young to me. <laughs> so what's new that you got planned? Oh, I have several things got planned so we're uh we're flying into vegas tiffany and i and i love flying anytime i go to california i mean like it's so easy to fly into california but i don't know what it is about going to vegas and then making the drive in california from vegas it's just it's magical that drive through the desert like i love it and it's not very long i believe it's a three hour drive ew one of the dogs slobbered all over my knees was it you, Gracie? But yeah, it's it's awesome. Like I hate flying into Los Angeles. I just I'd much rather flying to Las Vegas and then just like making that drive. Like it's so cool. But yeah, we got a couple things we're doing. Got a collaboration that I'm doing with with a friend of mine, and a couple really cool places that I have never investigated or explored. I am gonna do some. I'm going to be doing some vlogs out there. I'm going to try something a little bit different too and maybe doing some like raw style vlogs, almost kind of like a live stream like this, but more of an actual, you know, 4K video and hoping that kind of uh, it's cool. I don't know. I, I've downloaded this brand new software and I'm going to try something different. Hey, thank you, Edward. Appreciate it. What's up, Robin? Hey, Denise. Hey, Twilight. All right. Comments are going a little slower. Thank you so much. Uh, no wind noise. Sweet. No wind noise. That's what's up. But man, you know what? Um, I did want to also 
mention my other channel. I have another channel. It's called The Oh My Gosh Live. And I usually do live streams on that channel, but I haven't, I haven't done any live streams. And of course, I haven't uploaded here in about a week. So I figured it'd be, this would be a great way to kind of connect with y'all and, and talk to y'all. And of course, educate you about that whole like, you know, the scam thing going on. If you're just jumping on this live stream, you don't know what I'm talking about. Wait till the video's over. Rewind to the beginning, and it's at the very beginning. I'm talking about how somebody pretty much they they threatened my life, and uh, it's it's not fun when your life gets threatened, especially when like you don't really know who it's coming from. Like it could like somebody it could be somebody that sees you in public one day, and it's like you they know who you are, but you do not know who they are. And it's uh, it's kind of a scary thing, you know, just knowing that there's somebody out there that wants to do harm to you and kill you based off of what somebody else did, too, which is kind of dumb. But what's up, Adonis? See, like, why is it doing that? Like some of the comments, especially on Super Chats, they're like not showing up. I don't know either. And then this won't let me click that. You want me to try to see it from my phone? Yeah. And Jennifer said, hi, Omar, we love you and all your videos. Can you say hi to Emily? Hi, Emily. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a happy Sunday. And who's ready for summer, man? Like summer is, I mean, it's summer in Florida all the time. Pretty much. I mean, except for, we had a cold winter. Yeah. We had a pretty cold winter. I'm not even going to front. Yo, we had a tornado. <laughs> we had a tornado out here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Let me know if you want me to show you like what happened. I, you know, I'm just going to show you yeah, anyways. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you. So, oh, yeah, can you re help me read, like, some mod, mod some of the comments? All right, Tiffany's going to help me with some of the comments because it's, like, really hard to read. So, I had this lean-to that I had built for the llamas and for the goats, you know, in case they want to get some shelter if it's raining. And this is where it was at, right there. Okay, this thing, when they brought it to me, they told me, where do you want it? Because once we put it there... You can't move it. It weighs like 3,000 pounds, okay? So we had a pretty nasty, I'm pretty sure it was a tornado because like my neighbor next door, like he had a the neighbor's trampolines. I believe the neighbor on the other side. Crazy stuff. All right, so our lean two that was right there is all the way over here now. And I didn't move this. And I'm going to show you what it did. I mean, luckily it's still okay, but I got pieces of wood coming out. <laughs> this is the roof. The roof is down there. All right, look, this is what that tornado did. I mean, it was a very mild tornado. I mean, it's not like a, like a twister type tornado, but yeah, look what it did. That's the roof. Okay. This thing is heavy, really heavy. It blew all the way from over there here at the wind Haven ranch. But I mean, I don't know. That's like, 30 feet away it's it's a good distance away you know what i mean dustin said you shaved so that they don't recognize you the what dustin said you shaved so that they wouldn't recognize you who shaved you you shaved so they wouldn't recognize you to kill you <laughs> who though the person that wants to kill you oh yeah he said you shaved i did shave so that they, so won't they don't recognize want to... you. i don't know who you're talking about i thought you were talking about like the dogs or something <laughs> all right anyways okay so i do want to show you this this is what I installed. This is my electric fence. Tiffany's going to do a demonstration for us too. So there's what I installed. And like, I kind of, uh, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You know, like I watched a couple YouTube videos and oh look at Hamlet. He wants some food. And in the YouTube videos, they were like, so somebody wanted to charge us X amount of dollars. And yeah, it's very expensive. Like if I would have asked somebody to do this, what I did pretty much, I mean, we did the whole perimeter, the outer perimeter, like I'll show you. So all of this area up to like where those trees are all the way to where you, you can't, you know, like the corner of the paddock over there, the other paddock, not this one. So, I mean, I did all that. Let me know how much you think a company would charge for something like that to put an electric fence, like to know here in the comments. Yeah, it took us seven hours. Hey, thank you. Love you too. Melissa, thank you. Omar, Tiffany, looking fresh. That's what's up. This is our horse. What's up, Mr. Horse? 
what you doing? Don't forget the apple seeds. Yes, I did mention that. Thousands. Somebody said 10,000. Okay, so I remember watching a YouTube video where somebody had um, a quarter of the property that we have, and they asked somebody to come out and give them an estimate. And they wanted to charge them $2,000 just to do so. This could have easily been like a $5,000 job based off of the size of the four paddocks that we have that we put the electric fence on. And I did it for, how much did the materials cost? And I still have leftover materials. Like four something? It was like 400 bucks. So it goes to show you how much you could save if you just do the job yourself, okay? I'm one of those people, I'm gonna do it yourself for I'd much rather save money than waste money. And you get the experience out of it too. Cause now I learned to trade. I learned how to do electric fences. Same. So if, uh, you know, one day that's the only job available in the world, I could, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, I know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I could help my friends and family if they need it done. Um, give a shout out to Mary Pettifer, her birthday pop. Oh, hey, Mary. Let's just address her book reading. Yes, I'm subscribed to her. Yeah. Yeah. She has the most. I love her accent. accent. And she reads the cutest little books. And yep. her cute little accent. You know what I just noticed? This is, and, Hey, happy birthday, Mary. We love you so much. Hey, check this out. I got to show you something. What? All right, look. I've cut that grass already a couple times. Look at the difference of having animals that graze <laughs> versus like, you know, I don't let my animals out here. Like this is like, look how nicely clipped this grass is compared to you know i've i don't think i've i've never cut the grass in here no we've never had to come in here and cut grass. no yep like they just they keep they they eat all the grass that's cool they're like little um lawnmowers. they're like lawnmowers yeah environmentally friendly lawnmowers no emission lawnmowers <laughs> non-electric non-gasoline powered lawnmowers but Anywho, uh, but yeah, that's my electric fence. And being that we don't have electricity out on property yet, I had to figure out a creative way to bring electricity to that wire. And how did I do that? Take a wild guess here, and I'll show you in about 30 seconds when I walk to it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, it's so messy out here. Why'd you guys ruin Miss Piggy's pool? Yeah. Dogs dig because they don't have toys. Uh huh. They have so many toys. They chew them up, and then they look they for do. other things to chew on. They love us. And look, they're all there's even toys all over there, just chewed up. They are. They have plenty of toys. They have plenty of things to chew on. They just want to go out there. Linda, thank you so much for that. Very much appreciated. And Kira, sending love to the Safe Haven Ranch from London. Hey, we need to go to London one day. That would be beautiful. Look how these guys are. They're like, exactly. they're cut from the same cloth. I mean, technically, they're best friends, but they're going to be, uh, they're going to be more one day. Mm. You know, they're going to be that, that married couple like, we were best friends. <laughs> what she do? She's laying inside of the pool. That's so funny. Hey, Danny, thank you so much for being a member. I still show what? Um, I can't read the comments. Can you help I'm me sorry, out with the but comments? You keep moving, so I can't tell you anything. Right, my bad, moving. my bad. Hey, Nina, thank you for the super chat. I guess it's a little easier to read the super chats. Miss Piggy's doing great. I think you're walking, and I'm trying to tell you what they're saying. Look what the dogs did. Yep. Look, they took the squeaker out. Did you throw the tree bitch? No. Oh, these ones are just yeah, that one's good. Luna loves Look. those. Go get it. <laughs> Dad, are you a fetcher? You've never been like a fetcher. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's Gracie. Like Gracie's the fetcher. The fetcher. Always like, I'm running for that. But look what they did. I, I gave them that toy yesterday. And they like, I thought it was that llama hair. And they, like, I got to pick all this up. Good times. Good times. Okay. So, how do I get electricity to my new electric fence? Well, here it is right here. Solar power, baby. So this is probably the most expensive part of the electric fence. 
Um, what do we pay for this? This is a 10 mile electric or solar power unit. Yeah. Well, with everything, including that, it was like, I want to say it was like four or $500. Right. And I still have, I have a big roll left yeah. and I have the ground poles. Like we have three ground poles right there. I did three grounds. Somebody's dog. Oh. What happened? I heard their dog looked up when you squeaked the toy. Oh, did they? <laughs> oh, here, here we go. Here. Let me know if this gets your dog's attention. It my my dog Luna loves these. <laughs> so there's this thing I like to do. You like take the little squeaker out. Like this this would annoy like hey kids at home. Oh my god, don't <laughs> do that to their moms. Here, hold this. Moms are already stressed out. Is it on you? Where's no, oh, you gotta turn it on. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, All right, look. Sorry. So you take the you take this little squeaker part out. It's probably really dirty. Here, like it. Clean your lens off a little bit. Is he? Squirk, 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 squirk. Okay, there you go. So you take this part out and you put it in your mouth. And you could Nope. Go ahead. I'm gonna show you something. You can choke okay, on this exactly. though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mother kids don't do that. Don't do that, kids. Automatically thinking about that. Grown kids, eighteen and over. Even those people can choke on it. Oh yeah. Well, this. How about just don't put squeaker toys in there. Right now. <laughs> okay, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> All right. So out of breath. That was fun. But yeah, that's our electric fence. We did that in. What, six hours? It was like seven hours, yeah. Oh, can you breathe better with this? No. <laughs> Ow! Uh, all right, look, so my last video, I mentioned how I emailed the builders and I was like, look, I'm not happy, yada, yada, yada. Our house is being put like on the back burner. And then I mentioned how like somebody shared like the permits of other houses that were built by the same builder. I think you did. And oh, yeah. started on the same day. So the same builder had permits approved for a very similar house. And there was like three or four of them. And the permits were approved on the same exact day that the permits on our house was approved. Mind you, those houses are done. They were completed. I called them or not called them. I emailed them and I'm like, how come these houses permitted on the same exact day are done being built and ours is literally just sitting down like it's just sitting there like weeks go by nobody comes and works on it it's literally just a sitting duck just sits there and nobody builds our house somebody show up and then they're there for two hours and they leave and then they don't come back for another month that's what we've been dealing with where our build they responded with oh yeah we had an investor they said so are they putting investors first compared to like just their regular I don't know, real estate clients. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this investor came along and they're favored more because they purchased like, what? What's so funny? Put the squeaker in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Try to say I got a belly. 
So I said, I'm just pushing his belly to squeak. <laughs> Works. Right. Oh my gosh. All right, get that out of your mouth because right. I'm getting nervous. But yeah, um, in all seriousness, it's been painfully slow watching our house just sitting there and we're we're living in a camper. And it, you know, I like living in a camper, okay? However, it's it's crowded in there. You know, three people in a camper. I mean, yeah, like no. We, we don't have much places for clothes so we got our dog there like it's it gets crowded in in our camper so we we want to move into our house i can't wait to have an actual closet again like it's it's short it's small it's small in there you want to go show them what the camper no, the house. oh the house yeah. i showed it in my last video it's literally the same okay and nothing's so if changed the, if you didn't watch the last video go watch the last video in the last video i showed the house nothing's changed so in my last video i was like oh yeah i got excited i emailed the builder and now there's three people here that was the last time I saw those three people. And that was like, when I uploaded that video, it was like a, maybe a week after I recorded it. So it's been like two weeks, mm, three weeks. Yeah, How long has it been since? Vlogs aren't current. People think that you just record and then just Some are current. Yeah, some are current. But yeah, some of them, if I'm editing, it depends on my editing schedule because I edit for two channels. And then we did start a Facebook. Yes. What's the link to that Facebook? You should put it in your description. Yeah, we do have a Facebook. It only has a couple hundred followers, but I think it's like seven this Facebook, I promise you, is not going to, it's not going to message you. Okay. It's no. not going to, like, if you get a message from somebody on Facebook. In fact, we turn the messaging me. off. So you can I do message. have a private Facebook. I yeah, will say that. Not your I've had it for years. It says Omar Antonio. I get Facebook requests for friends on there. I don't even look at those, honestly. I mean, unless I really know who you are. I mean, I only have a few friends on there and it's been, it's like a private Facebook, but that's not the page that we created. Like that's for videos. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of videos that go up on there too. And they're cool. We had a Facebook before, but it got shut down. Oh, somebody's posting the link. I don't know. Let me just make sure that's the, real, the actual link. See if that's the link or not. Yeah. Here, hold it. I'm pretty sure it is. So Tiff's going to look and confirm. <sighs> hey, what's up, Ashley? Hey, Laura. Jamie, thank you for that super sticker. I appreciate that. Well, then go say hi to those houses that got built <laughs> and find out where they send their checks. And oh gosh, it's so annoying. I can't like I can't hold on to the comment. It's not going. Hi Rochelle. Hey Kayla. Do you read comments? I try to. I'm trying to read the comments. It's extremely difficult. Do me a favor. Try to read the comments. You'll see what I'm talking I about. I think it's slower on their end. It, doesn't it is slower? Like, yeah, okay. Like yeah, when it's on the end. screen, I only see, see two or three comments at a time. And when I try to, like, freeze the comment, the new comments make it disappear. And I'm not able to, like, like hold on to it. Hi, Joanna. So, yeah, it's extremely difficult for me to, like, read the comments. Um, but I do try to read them. Is is good as i can it is a little easier for me to see the you know the like the super chats that come in and stuff because they're they're a little bit more bold and i could click on them um, uh, jenny said i could barely read comments okay and that's all i can see what's up ocean girl hey javier hey lisa see like this is it this is the facebook oh, let me let me change around all right this is all right because you know we old people Okay, so it has, as of right now, it only has 751 followers. That's my actual Facebook page. It's yes. it's new. So, and you don't have to wait for somebody to like message you. You could just go and follow it right there. And I got videos that that we post almost every day on that, on that Facebook page. Are you able to see it? Go back up to it. I think it was like blurry. Okay. I'm going to put my hat to make the sun. Okay, yeah. There's the Facebook right there. So that's how many followers it has right now. So if you like, um, I'm just trying to, yeah, you're going to have to put the link in your descriptions for stuff. Okay. I will. Because, I just don't know like the link Like this one yet. has five ratings. It even has like his actual email for, you know, right. or whatever, but there's some that have that same picture, but just keep your, you're going to have to put it in your, on your thing, Bobber. So Lisa asked, why is my life in danger? Um, I was mentioning this earlier in the live stream. So 
once this is over, the live stream's over, feel free to go back and watch. It has a lot to do with people like scamming and uh, stuff like that. And it does involve you because I, I do want you to be educated when it comes to some of these scams, scams that are going on in our community, like on YouTube and uh, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Macy Graham right there. Hi, Macy. What are you eating? <laughs> Why is grass so crunchy? And like, hey, like they make it sound there's like. <sighs> Hi, Macy. Old in that case, I'm Cleopatra, Christy, Krista said. Hey, we love Cleopatra. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. See, see how I can't click that? Okay, that's Troy Bissett. Thank you for that super chat. Hi, Erilyn. Hi, Tasha. Thank you for posting. Okay, Tasha posted the Facebook right there. Is that the right one? Um, I believe that is. Did you get a u a new used truck? Well, I mean, that's my used truck right there. Yes. That's a Toyota Tundra. Like an old school one. It's a 2000. And it runs like a champ. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I know what it was. She ate one of those poisonous apples. Don't say that. Wow, I take it back. I take it back, but I'm just I'm just messing around. Maybe That's she did. terrible that baby like that. Maybe she did eat no, a poisonous apple. Because they would have to eat a lot. I actually looked it up just in case they did eat one. You would they would have to eat like a lot given her weight. He's passed out. She doesn't like being messed with when she sleeps. Oh, I woke her up. I didn't mean to wake you up. I didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, you sleep, girl. You sleep. <laughs> She's so cute. You're the best farm dog ever. You and Dak. You guys are the best. You gonna mess up some coyotes for me? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Dude, a hawk sat on her finger today. And she, like, took off. Yeah. Like, just evil bark <laughs> hey thank you joy sleepy doggy what's up my homie sam yeah where's Dak at mm, probably under the tree he likes going under that tree over there and laying in the dirt macy girl mm. hi baby mm. you want to show you you want to show them how you're halter trained no let her be Hey, let me know here in the comments. I was thinking about doing this because uh, Macy's so cute and she's really, really good. She's very behaved llama. I was thinking about taking her to like PetSmart. You know how people bring their dogs to PetSmart? What if I took my llama to PetSmart or, I mean, even out in public or even out on my boat? Like, that'd be cool. Yeah, she even agrees. So what do you think? Should I do so? 